so so I don't want, I don't want to talk about the gym too much, right? Because <laughs> right? because like no no one cares about the gym. There's two, there's there's a few different stories out there that no one wants to hear, and that, and that story no one wants to hear about your gym dreams. Story. Yeah, no dreams. one wants to hear about driving. Yeah, I, no one wants to hear that you that you ran a five k today. We've talked about dreams. We've talked about we've done yep. a podcast while driving. Yep. But, but but these are these are three things that as soon as you begin telling the story and it involves any of those three things, mm-hmm. just stop talking because your friend or whoever it is that you're talking to doesn't want to hear it. So I don't I don't I don't like talking about the gym because I yeah. know that's what's happening. Yeah. But I need to tell the story. All right. All right. So everyone's already tuned out. Let's hear it. All right. So sometimes when I'm running on I'm the, gonna go take a leak. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> sometimes when I'm running on the treadmill. Yeah. It gets you know sometimes I, I guess I get shin splints sometimes and my legs hurt. Okay. Um and uh, but but worse than that, I get bored. And when you're bored and you're tired, and you're like you're out of breath. You're like, why am I doing this? Let me, I should just stop. Yeah. Right. So, well, I used to go running with my brother. Like, I, he was out in the country, and uh, we, every Monday morning, like super early Monday morning, we'd go out there and we'd, we'd like run through the country, and we'd, we'd run a five k. Mm-hmm. And that I love that because not only did I have a companion to go running with, but also it's on a road. It's not boring. Change of environment, you know, right? Constantly. Yeah. You know, trees are going by, houses, neighbors, people walking. You know, the whole thing. Yeah. So sometimes when I'm on the treadmill, I close my eyes. Mm-hmm. And I know exactly where on our run each each kilometer break is. Yep. So I can actually picture the entire run. I can close my eyes and just do the whole run in my head from beginning to end. Uh-huh. But as it turns out, I've learned that I have an overactive imagination. Because every time I close my eyes and picture running with my brother, yeah. we get hit by a car. <laughs> 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 and I can't, and I can't, t- I can't, can't stop that. that. Yeah. And every, and now that I've started doing it, I really can't stop doing it. Because whenever somebody like, tried not to picture an elephant, the first thing you picture is an elephant. Yeah, yeah. No, we get hit by a car like twenty times every five k. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. it's a stupid story, but like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to open the car? I am. Let's do this thing. All right. All right. There it is. Nice. All right. Who's can't, got the lights today? I, I hope I can't wait for Michelle to come back because I just want to sit in the middle and let you guys handle this. Shit. <laughs> You got the lights. I rewired yet again. Oh. All right. Lights are off. And I'm going to make some popcorn right down here. Jeremy, what's on the popcorn today? Oh, my God. I don't know. I wa- I still want some... Spr- j- j- this is PlayStation VR. Theater. Theater. <laughs> Gamescast, we record every Tuesday afternoon at midnight. We bring it to YouTube every Wednesday as the weekly wrap-up. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday. So long ago. So many longs ago. At least we know if the American dream is any good now. We do know. Because yesterday we had no idea because yesterday was actually Monday for us. So don't, shh, don't tell anyone. Yeah, that's All right, We true. don't want to break the fourth wall. The fourth wall's expensive. Mm. <laughs> every Thursday, every today is PlayStation VR. Yeah. Theater. Theater. And every Friday, every tomorrow as viewer takeover. When we let you, the loyal Gamecats, Meow. Oh, I, I used my other hand. I'm doing all sorts of weird <laughs> things this week. See? And to my right, your left, the king of all VR kings, Jeremy King. I didn't even give you a title last time because we were so wrapped up in do I always say right or left. Yeah, I um, think you do always just say what you said. Now I'm convinced. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is the first time have, is this, is this the first time we both won a tie. We used to maybe way back when. No, I don't know. When yeah, I, used I I've won a tie every single episode for the last like three months. And I don't think I have. Okay. Maybe. Because we're usually Tuesdays, my day off. This tie, Mm -hmm. whatever is going on with this tie, you may never see this tie again. Why is that? Because I tied it 17 times, and and I still only got this knot out of it. This is the this is not the best looking knot I've ever tied. I mean, no, that's not that's true. Yeah. And uh, and and this is the best one I got out of all those times. Is it too silky? It might be too silky, but I have but is the same brand that I've been buying that I've been wearing for the last two months. Do you want me to try? You want to try? I would, I'd like oh, to. By all sure. means, I'll try. I want. I want to know if it's me or you. Let's see. Oh, it's like. Is it small? I mean, it's a little on the short side, so I have to. Uh, so re- like really do one of these things here. Hey, you get tight so it can fit me. Well, I gotta, all right, all right. Fit, we're, yeah. we're just gonna. We're just gonna see. <laughs> just gonna see how good you are at this. I wonder if I can do it right. not looking. Wow, I can't do it not looking. I scrunch up my neck and my neck rolls all like. And I'm like looking down at it. Yeah, the whole thing. Can he do it? Not looking. This is what happens when Michelle's not on the podcast. We just sit around tight ties. Can we do it? It's very just become very double Windsor. No, you did double Windsor. I don't even know how to do it. I just do a half Windsor every time because it's easier. Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks significantly better than whatever I had going on. All right, now can I can I take it off? 
And now you can put a double it on. Windsor. <laughs> I mean, for not looking, it's not too bad. I think it looks pretty damn good compared to what I had going on before. I'm like tighten it up, and yeah. you know, there we go. It's a little short on me here, but it's okay. What's a proper, you know? Right? You guys can't see the bottom of the tie, can you? No, 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 you can't. You're fine. <laughs> There we go. Now you're like, what are they with the knickers and the like suspenders? And you got like, so you now I'm British. You got you like, and you're like, hello. And you got like one yeah, of those so caps. I am British. Yeah, with a yeah. short tie. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. And you're like, hey. Did you, used to, I, you used to offend like 20% of our viewers. <laughs> I love the accents of all of our viewers. I, I love I it too. It's I, awesome. I always wish I had an, uh, an Australian or an English accent. Or British. Yeah, any of those. English, British. I wish I had one of those two accents. Uh, so, yeah, sure. any of them. Yeah. So, um, so every week on PlayStation VR. Yeah, oh, theater. Yeah. Oh, this, I, I didn't know my dad was in the room. This is fantastic. Well, if you're going to present yourself to well, the world, can you like halfway do, look decent? I mean, whatever you want me yeah. to do. It's a little bit better. Yeah? I can't really see the monitor, but I'm, I'm going to trust you. Good. All right. Good. All right. There you go. <laughs> so every week on play, PlayStation VR Back theater, on track uh, yeah. Jeremy and I sit around and we watch uh, trailers Of upcoming PlayStation VR games yeah. We don't watch them ahead of time We don't do any research on them We don't even pick them out ourselves anymore yep. uh, Beat Tribble doing God's work out there yeah. uh, He he sent these luckily last night Which was awesome Yeah, Because he, he had no idea we were filming early Yeah, but nice, fate Fate, fate. Right there. Beat Tribble See, yeah. he caught us when he didn't know we were falling. Just. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, so basically what we're trying to say is is don't don't come to us for information on these. Come to us uh, to watch these along with us for possibly the first time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and just we're going to mystery science here 3,000 the crap out of these things. Yeah. Uh, so we're just here to have a good time. Mm -hmm. If you don't like that, you can go. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> may go. If you do like that, stick around. Yeah, hang we're, out. We're not going anywhere. We'll see. All right. Uh, so the very first trailer comes to us. I mean, obviously, all these come to us from B-Tribble this week. Yep. But uh, the first one is Cool Painter VR. Okay. And the deal with Cool Point Cool Painter VR is that this was supposed to be out forever ago. Yes, Delay, 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 delay. Yeah. And, and like, I don't think they ever gave us a, del a release date. They mm -hmm. just said, it, it'll, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it finally, it might have finally come. <laughs> I don't know. This is going to be, I feel like this is going to be one of those surprise releases. Yeah. We're just going to, like, drop on the store one week and we're not going to know ahead of time. Yeah. Because the trophies are up. Yeah, the trophies are available to Crazy. see, and that means it's it could be here any day, anytime. I, it could be out already. We could be watching this after it's already out. Maybe it came out yesterday. You we have know. no idea. It better give the polite head tap and warn us before it comes. Before it comes, yeah. Is is that polite? It's always been the polite thing. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the head tap. I don't mind telling you, <laughs> right? But but I, but also well, a, yeah. A little clench of the hair to make sure you're not going anywhere is appropriate <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, come back. Yeah, I yeah, I think it's appropriate, but yes, I don't know if I can't mean directly. Like, um, excuse me, hello, down there. I think maybe just like the head tap is kind of like the uh, polite thing to do. Pol polite thing, you know, the, the term or full full warning. Okay, whatever way it is, if right. you want to bump bump, yeah, whatever. At least it's better than just no warning. Right? Listen, listen. I don't need to tell you that there's a prize in the Cracker Jack box. You know it's coming if you <laughs> right? if you chew yeah. things down long enough. <laughs> All right. So, so, anyways, back on track. Trophies. How many? How many subscribers did we just lose? Oh, so many. We Fantastic. gained a few. Game didn't make up for the ones we lost. No, we All lost right. quite a bit. First one, cool painter VR yeah. on your mark, get set, and I really hope the volume is down. It's probably not. No, but that's it. Yeah. On your mark, get set, go. Go. Wild Bit Studios. Uh, wild. <laughs> Crazy, oh. and the volume's not down. Literally. <laughs> Do you imagine it's hard to... What did it say? I don't know, but this is already better than the stuff I'm going to create. Oh, look at that. Right? Oh, that's pretty sick. This is, like, legit better than anything I'm going to make. Isn't this, like, Michelle wants the shit out of this game, right? Oh, absolutely. This game this game might as well, might as well be called Michelle VR. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, you can make her in her <laughs> dreads. <laughs> look at this. This looks pretty... <laughs> That's nuts. You know what? This is this is just a tease though, because I'm gonna want to make like this is this is a tease, um, because I'm I'm gonna want dreams so much after playing this. I'm gonna be like I'm creating a level right. for my character to run, run around in, and, and now I just have a level to, and nothing to do in it. Can I tell you what my problem with this is gonna be? What? I'm gonna want that, but I'm not gonna want to do it. I'm gonna want the end product to yeah. walk around and look at what I did, but I just don't want to do it. 
yeah, I really, I really hope they make it nice and easy to share your creations so that you and I don't have to actually make anything. <laughs> we can just go in and look Somebody at other people's stuff. Or if I did, I'm going to go in and I'll make some big, huge dick. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Share it. Along with thousands of other penises. Right? That, like, oh, my God. Check out. So many people are going to make penises. Right, well, you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> <laughs> check out this vein on this VR <laughs> dick. Oh, well, there's one. Wait, oh, it's did, a giant carrot. I thought it was a carrot, but it was actually a, the root of a tree. It was the root of a tree. It's oh. a, like a twist on nature. So much to learn. Look at that. Yeah, that's Van Gogh. Is Pretty right? sweet. Sonic, where are the copyright? Do, right. they, do they have to get permission for that? I mean, they should. I don't think it's... I don't know. That's, a, that's an excellent question. If somebody just painted a character. Right. But you can't use it in your trailer. I know. <laughs> they just took rights. I mean, they, they might be in trouble. Yeah, maybe. That's why his game hasn't come out yet. <laughs> They're fighting lawyer. a legal battle. Their lawyers are too busy. That's pretty sweet. Cool paint er VR. <laughs> er. Right? Yeah. Uh, so this looks impressive. Can the paintings be eventually animated? That's an excellent question. That would be a neat patch to animate your paintings. The release of Cool Painter VR, the incredible. Uh, Hold on a second. It sounds like a pipe dropping. Like you hear in like the right. back alley of a movie. You know, like you knew you know a crime's about to happen when you hear the pipe drop. Who's that? You know? Well, release of Cool Painter VR, the incredible VR experience is getting closer, and you'll be able to unleash your imagination painting in 3D everything you can dream of. Uh, it does not say anything about animation. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, it's a start. It, it looks pretty sweet. It is a start, but like I said, it's it's not going to be enough because because what I was seeing there felt like level designs. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I I just want I just want to play dreams. I want I want to create my own level. I want to create a little story. I want to like you know make a character and run around and make a little platformer in VR. Yeah. I want to make Marvels two, <laughs> the sequel. Yeah. Well, by the way, where the hell is Marvels two? What are you guys doing over there? I never studio? played it. Never played. You Marvels. loved Marvels. Yeah. I, I did. I did because. Because when Marvels came out, I was I had just finished Resident Evil Seven, and I was like, it, it was to the point where I was scared to put my VR helmet on. I was like, I was yeah. like I, I don't know, guys. I'm like, I'm I can't like, go back in there. I, I, this is this is tough. Yeah. And then Marvels came out, it was bright and happy and sunny and colorful, and I was like, okay, I can deal with this. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that was like a very different eight hours of my life. Yeah, uh, but cool painter, like, so since since this is coming out way before Dreams, yeah, we can put that whole conversation aside yeah. and be like, here, this is the very first VR paint program we have. Uh, and I gotta say, the whole time we're watching that, I'm thinking, I can't create this, I can't create that, whatever, it's gonna be hard. But just yeah. watching them draw some lines, like, I was like, wow, you know, even just some lines that they're drawing look kind of nice. Yeah, just the lines, even the basic ones, like that squid or that big octopus, yeah. that did, I bet you that wouldn't be too bad. And I mean, maybe it just eases you into it. Like that one with the bridge and all the woodwork, yeah. that looked pretty intense. Are there preset pieces you can take from a palette, like those planks? I don't know. I don't know. What I'm what I'm hoping is is that um, what I'm hoping is that if once you create something, yeah, and I, I'm sure everyone's fairly familiar with Photoshop. Like if you like merge down like all the layers, yeah, and and create and create like one object out of it. Like I'm hoping that you can like copy and paste it pretty easily. Yeah, right. Be like, hey, I made a plank and it looks really good. It looks really realistic, and I got yeah. some like wood grain in there and stuff. I just want to drag and drop that all over the place and make a whole like hardwood floor or something, or even save it to your palette for any time use, even later on. Right. You know. Right. And I and I do hope you were asking if there's animation in this. I hope there's at least some minimal animation, right? Like a wave. Like anything, right? Be like, yeah. oh, let's give this, let's give everything a breeze. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like so everything just kind of sways in the wind back yeah. and forth. Give it. This is VR. You know, mm -hmm. trying to add immersion. Yeah. And so if uh, if you can look at something in 3D, you hope that you can give it a little element of realism as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely just I just want to be able to share everything with everybody, and I'm sure they're going to do that. Have you gotten a glimpse of what the trophies are? No, but uh, B Triple tells us there's a platinum trophy. Okay, which is important for some people. I wonder how you could platinum trophy this game. Paint fifty paintings. Try with every brush, right? <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, whatever. It's, it's got a platinum trophy, and if you're going to use it anyway, might as well get some trophies, right? Yeah. What is uh price point? What do you think for this one? That's it's tough. Tricky. That is tough. Uh, I mean, I don't know the depth of the whole color system and the palettes and and what you can do with any of this. Yeah. 
Because you want to look at that trailer, like it looks like there could be a lot of depth to it. It looks pretty full featured as far as like cre- the creation elements. Yeah, and it might tempt you to say thirty nine ninety nine. It might tempt you to do that, but I'm I can't. Yeah, I can't. I I need. To... That's gonna have to be an in depth program. Yeah. At that price, not even a game, just more of a program. I want, if I remember correctly, Wild Bit Studios is a relatively small team. Yeah. Why do I, Why am I thinking that they're Spanish? Don't know. Twenty dollars. 20 bucks. I'm putting 20 bucks on this because I know that if they put this out for 20 bucks, mm-hmm. they're going to sell it to everybody. Yeah. If they put it out for 40 bucks, they're going to sell it to like very a very select group of the PSVR audience. True. And I and I think there's a lot of people out there. Uh, I've been in touch with some developers mm-hmm. that have actually lamented and we're not even talking run Dorothy run developers. We're talking about different developers that have said, "Hey, you know what? When when we put a price tag on a game, we're not we're not thinking, "Hey, is this consumer friendly? A consumer friendly price point?" They said, "This." They're thinking about the, you know, all the all the blood, sweat, and tears that went into it. All the sleepless nights where they stayed up and, and worked on their project, their dream, yeah. their passion project. Uh, the, you know, the 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 months of health that they went without health insurance you yeah. know, to get this done. Yeah. Um. And so, uh, and and so, I, I'm I'm really hoping that that this developer, that Wild Bit Studios, goes at twenty dollars, we can probably sell a million of these things. Yeah. But at forty, we'll probably sell like ten percent of that. Yeah. I, I hope they realize. I th- I'm I'm gonna be hopeful and go with your price point of 19.99. Okay. Because if anything, they can get more in depth and patch it and release it as as little DLC. Yep. Like if you want to pay for the animation pack, you know that bullshit. You yeah. know something like that, or pallets of uh, you know you know wood pallet pack, you know, or or cement pallet, you know, to get all these pallets that you could fill in and create, you know, just little worlds out of yep. except without having to fucking draw them absolutely yeah. uh so yeah i'm no i'm totally with you uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't mind paying a few bucks here and there for some for some whatever dlc yep but to get it into everybody's hands twenty dollars seems like the optimal price point for this yeah uh i mean who knows it come out at like sixty dollars you know and be like this premium yeah. 3d uh vr art program i have no idea limitless fucking this and that and this yeah who, who knows, knows? Who knows? We'll see. This is why this is why we should do research ahead of time, but we're just not gonna. No. All right. Not yet. Maybe in another week or two. All right. Now I feel like the next one is already out in Japan or maybe in Hong Kong. I, I know I've seen it on a store somewhere, uh, but I do not know. Kaiji, Steel Beam Crossing of Despair. That one. <laughs> wow. I, you you'd never be able to tell it has such an American title. <laughs> yeah. On your market set. Go. And Let's do it. Solid sphere. That looks like the worst sphere ever, actually. Right. Okay. So far, so good. We know we're, to, we're on the right platform. Right. Construction site. Maybe. Yeah. There's a lot very, of people in line. Very realistic one. Wow. What do they got? They're like racing. I don't know what that said. Oh, I, yeah. No. I <laughs> said good luck. That's Is this like they're being forced out oh. there to fight? Are they fighting on the plank? Yeah. These people are mesmerized. Look at them. Oh my god, and they're electrocuting it. Oh. Okay, so you gotta walk out onto a plank before you get buzzed. No, why is this guy going behind him? I thought they were. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Hold on a second, now I'm really confused because. Yeah. Don't leave us with just that. Please that, don't. That was oh, it. they are. Oh, th- Wait, there's still another minute. Oh, there's like a little copyright thing down there. <laughs> Thanks, High Stone. Uh, I want to go back and see the <laughs> the battle, the, the slight yeah, the, quick the, battle, the, the battles. All right, so this guy—they look like they're from like almost from Dragon Quest. He's, he's grabbing onto his arm. Yeah, look at pushing him. What is going on? I don't know. That's the only time in the entire trailer you see some kind of duel. Yeah, I don't know. That's insane. So. But so, what's the point of every other part of this game? Is just crossing a beam, and I haven't seen one person fall. Right. You know, there were people in suits down below as well. Yeah. They weren't looking up. They were just like looking here. Why didn't one of them fall so we could at least see that? And I want to see in VR. I didn't even see anything in VR. You know. Oh right. Except the arm grip. Except that was for the that. only thing. Yeah. Everything else was third person. Yeah. How do you balance? You know, going over the beam. Yeah. Is it a battle on the beam to not fall over? Right. If it's two move controllers, do you, are, you, are you doing this? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't feel like that could give you a sense of um, immersion because your feet are safely planted on the ground. Well, so there was, there was, what was that movie? Uh, the Joseph Gordon-Levitt movie. The Walk. The Walk. Yes. Right. And it was that. It was the 
French guy. Yeah. French guy who was back in the 70s Between or 80s that. or whatever. Twin Towers. Yeah, he, yeah. he did a lot of that, uh, this, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. Tightrope walking. That's what it's called. <laughs> nice. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Um, and so, uh, glad to be here. And, and, so, and there was a VR experience for the walk. Ooh. And there was, I, I believe, if I'm wrong, there was one that they had set up not for PlayStation VR, like that actually used room scale. Yeah. And they, and they had people walk across the two by four. Oh, see. Right. So it was like it was literally this far off the ground. Yeah. But like, but 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 people like they knew they could feel the edges of it uh, and trying to balance. Yeah. And and I and I want to say, may, may, this might have been a different experience, but like they had to, there was like a, an actual real teddy bear, or something, on the plank. Okay. And people had to go out and walk in. I think they might have been a cat or something in VR that they had to go rescue from. And so they're like, you know, oh my God, I gotta go see the cat. You know, trying to balance and stuff like that. And they're okay. literally walking across the two by four to go pick up a, a stuffed animal that's like this far off the ground. And But in VR, they were losing their shit. You know, people <laughs> falling, falling down and like thinking they were gonna die or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but in on PlayStation VR, where there's no room scale and you're not in something like this, you are gonna be standing still. Yeah. What what's what, what the hell are we doing in this game? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they showed them electrocuting it, which makes you seem like they need to get across that beam, and one behind the other means like you're gonna want to catch up to that one and throw them off so you can get across before <laughs> right. he electrocutes it. We didn't see any of that. Maybe he was saying it, but it was in I imagine in Japanese. It, just, it, it does seem like Japanese, and I'm somebody who you don't want to trust on that. Uh, but luckily, the translation is also in Japanese, or the description is also in Japanese. Oh, it doesn't good. help us at all. You know, I'm, I am kind of curious about this. Let me just do a quick little uh, little Google search here. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks insane. I, I don't even know what I just saw. I don't. Did the, were they captured? Are they there freely? You know? Are they prisoners for some weird, like, rich guy's humor game? Oh, you're going to race across the beams, you know? Like the movie, the game. No, what was that movie with? Uh, I love the game. What did we not talk? Why that was a great. That, that was a great movie. <laughs> what was that other one starring Ice Ice T, where he was like a, a guy who lost his family. He kind of made friends with the rich guy. Guy took him hunting, and then all of a sudden he they ate food and it was great. And he thought he was going hunting with these other rich people, and then he wakes up and they're like, "Yeah, you got an hour. We're gonna hunt and kill you." Oh, yeah, it's not the game. No, but, but yeah, no, the game sounds right. But it's not the game. The it's game's the Mike, game. well, yeah. Michael Douglas. Yeah. Well, the uh, the the novel it's based on is called The Deadliest Game. Okay. But so I don't know what the movie's called though. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Back on topic. Okay. All right. So this is this is an article about the game coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. But at least <laughs> this game is coming to Switch. Also, Kaiji. Also oh, yeah. coming to Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is based on the Kaiji manga series and focuses specifically on the steel beam crossing story parts of the Castle of Despair arc. Well, that clarifies well, everything. Well, there we go. The game features a famous famous scenes from the manga as players become contestants in the Steel Beam Crossing. I'm still learn nothing. You take on challenges with characters such as Kaiji, Sahara, and Ishida. That, that, what? Come on, where's the... I mean, is there a death? I mean, does someone die? You just compete and get shocked and maybe fall off a beam. Come on. It's a very famous scene. <laughs> Every single article... Here we go. Does this one help us? Every single article is just like, hey, it's coming to Switch too. Does it tell you in the Ice Cube's, I mean, Ice T's movies that Maybe. he's been in? I don't even know his real name. Okay. Where contestants attempt to cross four steel beams across skyscrapers, with the beams getting narrower the further along contestants go along. Okay further contestants go along. In the story, contestants are encouraged to push each other in an effort to be first. The VR game will also feature famous scenes from the manga. That That's that's kind of it. That's it, huh? Yeah, it's apparently a very popular manga in Japan. Wow. Yeah. And that's a very popular scene then. Very strange. Strange, strange. indeed. All so right. what's your price point? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I want. I think this is. Like I said, I think this is already available somewhere, and I don't think it's very expensive. Fourteen ninety nine. I'm gonna say ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yeah. I'm gonna say fourteen ninety nine. All right. They're gonna bank on that very popular portion of this story. Uh, uh, maybe, and since it is licensed, maybe fourteen ninety nine is 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 a better bet. Um, but I do think this is a very simple game. All right. Let's get back to the very next trailer called Tooth in Claw. Here we go. Yeah, indeed. On your mark, get set, go. Firepoint. Firepoint. Mm. 
Ooh, it's already beautiful. Oh, it is. Tooth and claw. What you, what's that running oh, down there? Oh, what is that? Is, is that, that, that like a doggy? A wolfy guy? Who's a, who's a, is that a badger? Ooh, that, that. What is that? I don't know. What's with the, like, the... the is that a saber the, tooth? The tusks. Right? I want tusks. Ooh. You want tusks, personally? Oh, yeah. And I just want them to, like, come right out of my fucking face. Yeah. Like, at will, just call forth, and then you get tusks? Or no, just I just, have I just want to be deformity. hanging there all the time, yeah. Weird deformity is fine by me. You'd probably have... I don't want to be magical. I don't want to be Wolverine and be like... Right? Yeah. You probably end up having a lot of, like, weird issues on your lower lip from the constant rubbing against it, so you That's probably fine. have, like, constant sores. As, as, as I get older, I've, I've learned that it, it doesn't matter. Just to c contain yourself in the yeah. apartment? Just, just be happy that I'm still alive. Kind of like yeah. you do now? Pretty much. So uh, that game... There's Another a, one. Wait, that's a game. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck did we just watch? I don't know, uh, but, but but we did. It wasn't first person. I felt like it's like going to the Ecotarium, and then when the, you get to the area where there are all the stuffed animals of the prairie, and wow, what was that? Uh, I don't I don't know, but but all we saw was third person. Yep. We saw some I, kind of saber tooth tiger or something. Yep. Take right? down some sort of a gazelle or prehistoric gazellosaurus or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what do you what do you think this game is? What, 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 do you think you it's third take person? A guess? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's third person. I'm gonna say you know you view and watch as you see an animal <laughs> go on the hunt. Oh, so you're not controlling the animal? I don't. I bet you no. You're just watching. I'm just throwing it out there. Okay. I'm gonna say it's an experience. It's gonna be like fucking four ninety nine, or even free. No, it's not gonna be free. No. How much do you think it's gonna be? I now have all the information, and so I'm just basically putting you on the seven ninety nine. Okay, you're saying seven ninety nine, and it's going to be prompts on your controller when to to like jump on shit. Okay, so like, it's going to be a Quantic Dream game for for eight dollars. Yeah, <laughs> all right, <laughs> yeah, fantastic. About the human struggle. Let's let's let, let me tell you what it says about uh, Tooth hear. and Claw on Steam. Okay, Tooth and Claw transports the player into a VR world of prehistoric times as a saber tooth tiger. As I like this, stalk, hunt, and attack your prey in a variety of modes, including a twenty player. Battle Royale what? PvP event. The fuck? The, the, that trailer told us nothing about no. any of this. This 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 single paragraph is already a better trailer than the trailer we just <laughs> yeah, watched. Yeah, totally. Mark your territory by climbing the leaderboard with your predatory instincts. Oh, you, there you go. have the eyes of the tiger. <laughs> also, paws and claws, which is there adorable. Oh, paws. <laughs> Sniff out and take down foes in a variety of ways, including stalking, pouncing, and clawing at your opponents with one-to-one -one actions, all with different environments of the prehis... Uh-oh. This is testing Brian's ability to speak. Ooh. Pleistocene. Pleistocene Ice Age. What? Where is I, it? I don't know. How do you pronounce that? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're just as bad as me. Yeah. Of the Ice Age. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The Ice Age. Play online with your friends or against the AI. But the best hunters are human. Or tigers. Wait, what? Wait, what? It actually says, wait, what? Oh. Yeah. PvP game modes? or Oh, these are the features. Here we go. We got some features. Features. Uh, features are my favorite part the of the trailers. Features, yeah. yeah. PvP game modes or versus AI. <coughs> Battle Royale. Capture the calf. 1v1 modes. Realistic animals of that very same Ice Age. Uh, this is a $20 game on Steam. Four different play modes. In early access. Okay. I... 20 player battle royale yeah so you, you get it sounds like you get to play this in first person with claws and paws yeah how does it function how i do don't you... care i want this game <laughs> it's it's did you ever play crap what the hell was it called it was it was on playstation 3 okay tokyo jungle did you ever play tokyo jungle i don't believe so uh, Tokyo Jungle is a game. Uh, if it was, it wasn't very memorable. Post apocalyptic, super memorable. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Oh. <laughs> post apocalyptic um, Tokyo, all overgrown, like, you know, it's very, looks like The Last of Us, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's third person, and you can pick, like, all different kind of animals to play as, like Pomeranians, right? Never play. Cats. <laughs> like, uh, but all, like, you can play all sorts of different animals. You can actually, as you progress, you can, like, pick, like, bigger, stronger, better animals and stuff. Okay. And, like, your job is to survive. In this like wasteland with no humans left, right? And so, you, and like, so you go out and like you find another per another character to mate with. Yeah. And then like you have a little family, and what? and then you end up playing as one of your one of your little kids. 
Really? Right? And it's like, so like the, the life Evolution. goes on. Kind of, yeah. yeah. And so you just keep, see how long you can go for Can it. you mate with something similar and create a new mm, thing? Or I don't think that's a thing. No. Right. So, uh, and, but you do, you go, you go out and like, you, you try to like get further and further and further every single time away from your base, but it's like survival. Yeah. So you got to find food and water, uh, and then you got to bring stuff back so that yeah. your family survives. It's a new episode. Yep. Ah. Good. Yeah. I needed that. <laughs> uh, so I so Tooth and Claw, because of the trailer, because of the way it was presented, reminded me of that game. Third, okay. third person. Hey, let's go out and hunt. You know, let's go do this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but so, if this is going to be a first person game, with like move controls and and one to one, yeah, movements. Yeah, that, this is an entirely different game than the thing I'm describing. Because maybe what we were watching was like you know how like between you're a spectator when you you've been killed. Oh yeah, that, could like, be a spectator move. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I wonder how it can how it can control how you move, how you attack. You can pounce. Yeah, you know, pouncing's all that like stuff. one of my favorite things to do ever. Isn't it a big prairie? You know, and that's where you're just twenty of you out there and 20. hunting and sneaking around. Can you imagine twenty other gamers out there, like sn- sneaking around, sneaking in the tall grass, sneak up behind something and just go, "Oh, you big guy!" Yeah. In VR, you get yeah. to look all around in the grass. Mm-hmm. Oh, that might be pretty sweet, actually. And on Steam, it's nineteen ninety nine. So we do know that that's an official price. Uh, hopefully, it's the same price by, by the time it gets to us. Is there a date? Uh, no. Yeah. No, there's no date. And I think it's still in early access on Steam. Right. So, you know, a lot of these developers don't really Could focus on their... Out. Exactly. They, yeah. don't, they don't focus on their PlayStation VR port until they're really kind of done with their PC version. Yeah. Um, and then that brings us to our very last trailer of the day. That one was way louder. We should have saved it for that one. We should have. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll call it the same one. <laughs> it might be. Who knows? Maybe they were stuck in traffic. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that person's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or getting shot at still. Maybe. All right. This very last one is called Age of Heroes, and we're going to pay special attention to this one because Ooh. we're going to talk about this a little more on TakeOver tomorrow. Okay. On your mark, get set, and go. Well. Omni Games. Horseshoes and a biohazard symbol type. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Which is a suggestion would go away. I know, right? There we go. I don't think you had any. Bow and control. arrow. Sweet. Perfect. Oh, person. Just playing game. Mm hmm. What's he going to call forth? Minions? Oh, minions. This looks very much like the wizards that it we watched. It does look recently. like the wizards. Real fights in VR. A fantasy war. So that's, that's another player? Uh, maybe. Or the same person. Is Why? this like a wave shooter again? Why does this look so much like... It looks... Ex- this looks just like another game we've watched a long time ago. This looks like, was it, Redemption's Guild? I don't know how you remember that, but I don't know. Because I my whole life is what PlayStation chick? VR. That's what was I, a chick? I don't know. I'm just curious. I like this. So are these all different players? Yeah. Well, same I mean, character? I, different characters you can choose to play as, like, I'm assuming. Multiple boss battles. I wonder if you can do co-op, each of a different character. Right, I wonder. Actual body movements in combat, how is that going to translate to... Well, yeah, you can still duck and move. One-to-one movements, right? Yeah. Oh, it's shit. Wow, that looks pretty intense. Yeah. Can you just go and, like, be in a crazy-ass city? Hero, right? Choose your career. Oh, here we go. This, we're going to say it's uh, multiplayer. Kill those yep, yep, here it is. Devils. Devils will be shaking for your choice. That's pretty cool. Well, is it? Is it? Do you think it's just two players? Two on, yeah. Two co-op, or is it a uh, two on two on two? Teams. Thank God you are. It's looking pretty impressive. It does look pretty impressive. Age of Heroes. It sounds like such a mobile game. It wicked does. Right. I know. Okay, which means, of but, course. Okay, so sp- speculate. T- tell me what you think this game is because I I, I like the system we have right now, where where I go find facts while you speculate. <laughs> so it definitely looks kind of like a I want to say a wave shooter. Did it look like there was any kind of teleportation there or any kind of movement? None at all. No. Right. Seemed like you were stationary. Definitely seemed like what four different types. There was a, a summoner could summon a minion. There was the one that could like do the fucking shit out of his hands. The bow and arrow. So maybe three. Fucking shit out of your hands. But I wonder with the the car- so it's definitely going to be I think a wave shooter uh-huh. with magical shit up the ass, multiple boss battles, similar to like 
time crisis except with magic instead. Okay. You know? Well, you and that would be sweet with a partner with other magical abilities at a different vantage point and you're kind of like, let's go! And then you make it to the other point and you're hiding behind magical water wine barrels as <laughs> you shoot. So yeah, I want to say a time crisis type of magical game co-op. Maybe multiplayer. Maybe how multi well you said co-op already so how multiplayer I want to say like two four. on two on two okay that would be pretty sweet how much do you want to say based on everything you just speculated Twenty nine ninety nine. alright 30 bucks yep alright on Steam yep this game is $30 hey okay yep uh, about this game Age of Heroes is a multiplayer combat VR game that emphasizes physical and intense boss battles okay pick your weapons choose your classes mage archer Warlock, Priest, team up with other players and banish evil demons to protect the world. Game features. Features, we like them. Extensive team cooperation and strategy. Sweet. Unique in diverse classes and skills. Mm -hmm. Challenging and intriguing raids. Raids. Interaction with global players across different VR platforms. Nice. Loot collection and character development. There you go. Actual physical body movements in VR like we saw. Yep. Um, let's see here. Let's see how much we can read. Um, after launch, they'll add the warrior class. Nice. Um, Age of Heroes includes a single player mode and multiplayer mode. In multiplayer mode, you may set up your own game or join an existing game. Each game allows a party of up to five players. The more players there are, the more Close. difficult the game becomes. Okay. In addition, Age of Heroes creates uh, supports cross-platform play. Uh, this is for Vive and Oculus mm -hmm. with this description here. Also, you can use uh, built-in audio chatting uh, systems to communicate with your teammates. Um, leaderboards, achievements. Uh, that's kind of it. The downside is that the reviews are mostly negative. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, let's pick this one here. This guy says, Not recommended. Man, I wish this was good, but at the current state, it will leave you disappointed. Not because it's bad, but because you will want a lot more than what it gives you. Okay. If you read the comments, it'll say you play in a raid. If anyone has played any MMORPGs like WoW, um, World of Warcraft, this yep. game takes you straight to those kind of boss battles. But the fun part of going through a whole raid is getting to the boss yeah, area. Yeah, that's very true. Here you are instantly there with no dungeon crawling. Beautiful looking female characters and classes to choose from is nice. Please add more. Yeah, but is this early access that he's complaining about? Or is that full release? Let's see if this is early access. This is not early access. Oh. All right, then. Uh, but you know they're promising DLC and stuff, which, yeah. which, but, but he, I like what he's saying here. Is like, is like this gives us a little bit better of an idea of what to expect. Like this, very well could might not feature any kind of locomotion system, right? Yeah. Um, because you're already to where you need to be. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So here's here's one more. Um, all right. The graphics are great. All of the mechanics are solid. The foundation mm -hmm. is great. While this game has huge potential, it simply falls flat due to a lack of content. Okay. Three powers per class is really basic and leaves you wanting more. While I enjoyed the game, the current cost is not appropriate considering the huge lack of content, especially considering it's not early access. Yeah. Look at that. It answered all questions. It Thank you, answer. Mr. Reviewer. Yeah. Uh, so that, here's what I'm going to say. Um, I want Age of Heroes developer, when they bring it to PlayStation VR... To a get some more DLC in there before they bring it to us, yeah, and drop the price to twenty bucks. Yep, twenty bucks. Where's that warrior class? Yep, and uh, yeah, and, and and think about and think about some dungeons. Yeah, add a journey between the boss and the entrance. You add know? a game, yeah, to your game. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds so rude to say. It did, but but this is this is obviously what people want. It seems like it. You I know? mean, it did. The trailer looked nice. Yeah. You know definitely look like there's good potential yeah all right that pretty much does it then right for for yeah. another episode of playstation vr theater oh what's your pick oh god oh I, without a doubt <laughs> tooth and claw yeah i, I just want to pounce yeah yeah trophies did i mean uh trophies cool paint vr did look pretty sweet yeah um but uh, i don't want to put the effort in um i'm gonna say tooth and claw looks pretty uh interesting don't want to put the effort in yeah i i hope that i hope that cool painter vr 
has a virtual museum where you yeah. can just walk around and like check out other people's stuff and add to it and add to it you could either save it, it so you can cre- nobody can alter it mm-hmm. or you can have them add to it so you can see what kind of neat thing they did to it and she's just gonna go ahead and piss on everything <laughs> no <laughs> all right thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, to another episode of playstation vr theater make sure you come back tomorrow for viewer takeover when we let yeah. you the loyal game cats wow. let you take over the show as always my name is brian and that's jeremy and we'll see you tomorrow There's nothing on the popcorn. I had a million images in my head of different things. Why isn't there, why isn't there anything on the popcorn? So I kind of wanted to go for, um, not not caramel, but what's the other one? Caramel. S- butterscotch. Butterscotch, and don't ask me why, you can't call them Jimmy's anymore, sprinkles. No, you can call them Jimmy's. Jimmy's. Jimmy's are the one that are all chocolate. Sprinkles are the ones that are different colors. I, I feel like a little bit of them on there with the uh, butterscotch. Is, is that, isn't that how it goes? The, the spr- that one sprinkles and one's Jimmy's. No? I think they just changed them all. They used to be just Jimmy's. I want Jimmy's. Rainbow Jimmy's or fucking chocolate Jimmy's. Now it's sprinkles. I never heard of rainbow just or chocolate like Jimmy's. crisscross applesauce. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah. Uh, well, I think it's just the same. <laughs> yeah. No more. So Jimmy's. ask for sprinkles. Right.